Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode of our Frog Block Let's Play series. Oh, man, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Listen, I know that sometimes I talk about how I'm the greatest Minecraft player in the history of the world. And I know when I say those things, a lot of times you guys might roll your eyes and be like, man, this dude doesn't know what he's talking about. I know. I know that that happens. But let me tell you something. You guys were right. I was wrong. Okay? I was spent the entire of the last episode running around saying, oh, man, if I only, I sure wish I had a water source so I could take the water from here and put it down in there. That would be amazing if I had one of those. And you all were seeing me open up this chest and be like, I wish I had water. And I would close the chest. And I'd be like, oh, man, if I only had a water bucket. And then i close the chest. Right? You remember that? Yeah, um, this was sitting in here the whole time. Yep, I I just didn't see it. I don't know why. Anyway, we've made a little bit of progress. I had like, this is sort of episode three. <laughs> I had episode two. I spent about, uh, I don't know, a little while just uh, messing around, doing some stuff, recording stuff for episode two. And um, I had my mic muted the entire time, you know, because I'm pretty much an expert uh, YouTuber. I mean, you, you obviously could tell like my skill level, is through the roof. Anyway, let me just bring you up to speed with what we got going on around here. We made a little bit of changes, nothing too major. Uh, we've got a bunch of frogs down in here. They're jumping around. They're loving it. Uh, by the way, uh, we had some babies born. Uh, this is exactly how we get resources. So if you're down here, they jump in the water, and then they let out their resources, right? So this guy's going to give us some clay. This guy's going to give us some mud, etc. Okay. And I brought the water down here. It's working like a dream. Do I have a torch? Yes. Let's put a torch down here. It feels like it's dark. How about we put a torch right there? Now everybody can see. There we go. So everything that's all happening just like it's supposed to. And then what we were going to do in episode two was head over here to this island. We had built ourselves a little thing over there. And you can see I've been doing a little bit of work. I'm going to take you over there and show you. Uh, I, I found a couple things. I wish I had the footage to show you because maybe you haven't been playing this before, but I'll show you. I'll show you the deal. So if you, maybe if you don't, if you haven't seen this on this uh, dirt island so far, here, I'm going to put a torch right here just so we can see. Uh, you'll at least know now, all right? I can't show you all the loot that was in there because, you know, you know, the mic, mic issue. Yeah. Anyway, so here is what this dirt or the sand island looks like. We came up through here. There was a tree right here. It was a big one of those uh, fake jungle trees. I chopped it down to get some wood to do some other projects with. There were lots of frogs up here. There are both sand and sandstone frogs are chilling around up here like this. We could just kill these off. They keep spawning forever. So I went up here and I found out all this over here on this balloon thing is a guy and he sells stuff. If anybody stuff. asks, you didn't buy that here. Yeah, like we can spawn all these different kinds of uh, things. Even like a monster spawner, which is kind of cool. And a zombie and a creeper and who knows what else. So there was that. There's a little bit of a lake here. There was a chest here that had some loot in it. And then there was a chest over here that had some loot in it. Like this. And then over here on this uh, little thing, uh, on this lectern, it says day 92. There I was playing in the sand while making sand castles. And a sand frog was hopping past. This led me a little to experiment a little bit. I tried breeding the sand frog with lots of different types of stone frogs to no available. Until Eureka, I did it. By breeding a sand frog with a cobblestone frog, I was able to produce sandstone tadpoles. Now, where did I leave my bucket and spade? Yeah. I mean, that doesn't really help us a whole lot because there's sandstone frogs, like, hopping around up here. Like, for all I know, that could be a sandstone frog. Uh, anyway, I mean, that's, that's what was up here. And then I was, like, looking around in here, and I was like, oh, there's some cool water. And I saw this little trap door. This trap door was closed. So it was like this. And I just happened to look in here, and I'm like, oh, look, there's a trap door. And so I went down here, and it was an underground room. Okay, it's an underground room that was shaped just like this. I mean, without all the cool stuff in there. There was wood, some other stuff happening. And um, yeah, there was a bed in there and a fishing pole, which I have right here. Lister's old rod. It's got some decent fishing equipment stuff on it. And uh, 
and that was what was in there. <laughs> oh, man. I hate making these kind of episodes. It's like, look at all the cool stuff I've already done that you won't be able to see. And then I decided that I would dig out that room, right? So dig out the room and make it a pond and then cook a little bit of the sand up there into glass and make myself a little breeding area. Uh, oh, yeah, the hot air frog balloon's gone. And then dig out this whole area. So eventually we're going to seal this whole bottom half of this island in glass all the, around, all the way around the outside. And we're going to have in it tons and tons of frogs. I think this is going to be our, I don't know, breeding slash gathering area. I'm not sure exactly. The frogs love it. They go hopping in here all the time. I found some uh, shroom lights I put in there. I have a couple frogs waiting to grow up. Okay, deal? Deal. Okay, so that's where we stand. Shut the door. Uh, this is what I dug out all along right here. This has all been taken care of. Um, I did get the grass frog. See him right there? Oh, gravel frog. It just grew. Okay, we got to go back in there. Hold on. I was just going to tell you that, and then it happened before I could even know what was going on. Get out of here, frog. Uh, so, uh, where's the gravel frog? There he is. Oh, he looks cool. So, I had, uh, I had the grass frog spawn for us across the way on our initial island. So, I went over there and captured him and brought him back. Now, I want to do a little bit more breeding and see what I can get. So, I have a gravel frog. All right, let me get this right here. So, we have a gravel frog, gravel, and mud, maybe. Maybe they will do something. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. Well, they all jumped out of the way. So I think that may have done something. Okay, so gravel and mud. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Got some babies happening in there. Let me get these. Okay, what are you, sir? Are you a gravel frog? You are. So I'll do gravel. And let's do gravel and sand this time. Or whatever, uh, whatever this is. Okay, they didn't do anything. Gravel and uh, green grass. Okay, no. I don't know which one. Uh, okay, let's just do all those. I don't know if we actually got anything to happen there. I mean, I think that guy just jumped in the water. Is he laying eggs? No, he was just swimming around. They're just swimming. Okay, so we got to see what that is. So gravel and mud is what we've just uh, just bred together. So that's what we're waiting on right now. We'll see what happens when those hatch. <laughs> we've got a little grass guy in there swimming around. They're really cool. I love the little tadpoles. They're my favorite. And he, oh, he did, uh, he did, something happened there. Oh, okay. We'll have to wait and see. Oh my goodness, it's, it's out of control. So anyway, that's, that's all of that. We've been taking care of business. We have, I don't know how many frogs it says we have. Um, we can go over to the thing and check it out. Uh, we can figure that out, but we do have uh, now a decent set of frogs, and we've explored this first island, and we have tons, as you can see, of different resources that we can use. We'll put the sand in there. Uh, we have extra glass. We have some dirt that we can use. I'm trying to get four pieces of dirt. I could go across the way and get it if I wanted to, but I'm just going to get dirt because I got four jungle saplings from chopping down uh, this extra tree that was sitting right here. So I could grow a big jungle sapling right here in the middle of this island and then get tons of wood. And then I can turn that into charcoal and use that to light up areas and things like that. I think I'm going to put this in there. We have four frog coins so far. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. What's in the frog guide? Does it tell us anything? Yeah, it doesn't really tell us. Okay, we know about some of those things, I think. Machine help. Slime pumps, ender hopper. Okay, yeah. I really need to get an ender hopper at some point in the near future. Um, oh, I do have a, oh. Here, hold on. Where's uh, where's my crafting bench? I did get an ender pearl earlier. There was a, an enderman that showed up when I was digging out this area, and I got one of those. Let's see, ender. Hmm. Oh, can I turn them up? Okay, ender. Ender hopper. It, okay, okay. So we can make one of those as soon as I get iron. I don't know how to get iron. We're going to have to figure that out together. Okay, these little dudes are carting around in there. So I thought what we would do, since I recorded a bunch of this, you know, the stuff that we were doing here on our sand island uh, in a fake episode that you won't ever see because uh, I had my mic muted, I thought maybe what we would do instead is do a little bit of exploration and get to the next island. I also have a bunch of these... Uh, mud frogs rolling around. I want to get to the next island and bring back whatever goodies we can get. Okay, so where 
where is our island situation? Where are the next one that we can actually go to? We can maybe get to the ice island. There's the jungle island over there. There's something up there. I don't know if that, that looks like some goodies. I sort of want to go to the jungle island. Do we branch off everything from our initial island? I mean, maybe, maybe that's what we should do. And there's that place over there. Oh, what was that? Was that frog legs? Yeah, okay, I'll take them. Uh, we have that place over there, which I'm scared to go to, uh, which we'll have to go at some point, I guess. I really want to see what those other frog types are, but I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to this... Go to uh, the jungle island from the initial island. Let's do that together. I have the ability to bring some frogs back, too. Okay. I also have all of these, like... I mean, we oh, oh, that was what... There was, like, there were some buckets of stuff. Clay, sponge. We should put those in the water. Let's actually do that really quick. We'll put those in the water. That way we'll have a couple extra buckets if we need to pick up anything else. I feel like I need to kind of make like some kind of like frog trap there. Let's put these down here. And we'll... Oh, we got, we got the stone frog? Moss and stone. Okay. Look, we got some new frogs. What? I don't even know what those were. Where's my coins? Look, look at that guy. That's a stone frog? That's the moss frog? Look how cute he is. <laughs> I love them. I love these little frogs. What do I do with a stone frog, maybe? Those are gravel. And they're jumping all around. What is like this guy? Let's do the sand in this one. No, no. No more of those. These guys. Okay, these guys, maybe? Oh, I think something good happened there. We have all these little babies in there carting around. I think he's coming to get in the water. I think he's going to lay eggs. Mud and stone, maybe? Oh, yes. He's 100% going in there. Laying eggs. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, we don't even know what's happening. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, my good friend Mahaku said she was going to keep a, a spreadsheet. Man, it's over already. I don't even know where... <laughs> I've forgotten everything that we've done. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's head back over here to this main island. By the way, thank you all so much for your support on this series. It really means more than you can even know. You guys watching these videos, giving me helpful comments, making fun of me because I can't see stuff in chest that's, like, right in front of me, and I'm blind for life. You guys know... You know, I appreciate you regardless, even if you are sometimes mean to your old friend, Dad Crim. Okay, let's make a bunch of these. Okay, boom. There we go. And I don't know if that's going to be enough or not, but let's start here. Okay, and then we'll go... I mean, maybe it'll be enough. Let's see. Again, I know I'm bridging backwards, and I know that people don't like it when I bridge backwards, but, you know, that's just kind of the way I operate. There's bamboo over there. That's going to be handy. Okay, let's go, like, maybe two more. Maybe, like, four more. Let's go four more, okay. And then we'll go all the way over as far as we possibly can. I really need to find out how to get an iron frog. Once I have an iron frog, I think things are going to get a lot easier for us because then we can get hoppers, we can make the vacuum hopper, and literally just rake in the goods, which is exactly what I want to do. I want to get tons of... We need to We need to really fit... We need to get tons of sand frogs because I really want to use lots of glass. I mean, that does look kind of cool. It kind of looks like a like an ice cream cone or something over there. <laughs> I'm down. All right, let's keep going. But I would really like to have... Um, Lots of sand frogs to get tons of sand. Lots of iron frogs to get tons of iron. Then I would need, like, cobblestone and all that kind of stuff, too. And then we could kind of go from there. Okay. Well, there's bees up there. That's like a little tree house. Do you guys see that? Oh, man. Get me over there right now. How much further? Oh, my goodness. That, we didn't, we didn't count. Like, when we went that way, we didn't come nearly far enough. Okay, almost. Okay, there's like stuff in the air for some reason. Okay, maybe like two more. 
Okay. I think we're going to come up through the bottom of it, but I think that's okay because I we can just dig straight up. Hopefully we have enough to get there. This is a stack of cobblestone we're burning for this, so I'm hoping that we have enough. I, mean, I guess technically I could grind out a bunch more of that and get more resources if I need them. Okay, we should hopefully be almost there. Come on, please get me all the way there. I have a feeling we're not going to make it. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. We need literally one more block. That's okay. We'll put this piece of mud right there. Okay, there we go. All right, now we'll get our pick out. I don't know why I always come over here and it's the middle of the night. Nobody can see. Hmm. I should have brought something. Hmm. Should I go get a torch? I mean, how about, yeah, let's do it really quick. I should probably go, well, let's let's just run all the way back over here. Hold on, stand by. I have an idea. I think I'm going to break the campfire, maybe. I think I'm going to break the campfire, get the piece of coal that I get back from that, make some torches, put one torch over here. What is that guy? Is that the mud frog again? Yeah, he's just, so I can break this. Okay, then I can use these little bit of this little bit of charcoal. Do I have a stick? Any wood? Okay. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's go over here. We'll eat on our way. We gotta eat anyway. All right, this is gonna be awesome to figure out what's gonna be on the jungle platform. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could get some resources. I want to see what's in that little uh, little treehouse over there. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with um, how I'm going to figure out what we're going to do, uh, like, long-term for storage. Do I have a stick? Yeah, there we go. Here, that's fine. That's all we need. Let's go ahead and make these four. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now, we'll stack these together with that. We'll bring this down here. Hello, frog. I can't see what. Can't wait to see what those tadpoles give me. So I got to figure out like a long-term solution to having frogs. Like I sort of want to do glass, like bubbles. You know, like a square that has like too deep water in it. I don't know. I have like I'll have to design it uh, or show you. I'll have to build it like out of cobblestone or something, and then I'll show you what it's going to look like from a glass perspective. Because the idea is, I want to be able to have like an area where uh, I can have tons of frogs, or maybe do I or do I want to do that, or do I just want to have like a huge like free for all area? The problem is, is breeding, right? I need to be able to breed these frogs and figure out what the different types are. Like the combinations and such. So we got to figure that out. If you guys have any sweet ideas on like a, a cool like breeding setup for frogs, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay. I mean, I think we're at like seven or eight of our types of frogs so far. I mean, we got to be getting up there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this should be Got my shovel. Nope. Okay. Jungle frog. Jungle log frog collected. Okay. That's a zombie. Ow. Okay, bunch of, uh... oh, is that him? Okay, let's bring him with us. Got him, okay. There's melons over here, which is pretty handy. There's uh, different types of dye. I really need, um, I wanna go up there in just a second. Okay, melons are awesome. Even, I mean, we can kinda eat those. There's some more of that stuff. Okay, this is kinda weird. What is this thing? Okay. 
I don't really know what this is. It's just like a spot up here. Maybe you could we could dig that out and get some free dirt or something and get a farm going. I mean, there's lots of grass around here too. So maybe we can get some seeds and get a wheat farm going. I mean, that might be kind of cool. Ah, I burned it. Okay, I don't, I don't have anywhere to go. Okay, I just caught myself on fire. All right, let's climb up here. See what's up here in this little like tree house. There's a bee. There's another bed. That's honey. Okay. There's a melon frog. There's a bucket of bamboo. Okay, there's... Okay, yeah, yeah. What's in here? Uh, frog leg stew and a bunch of other stuff. That's a furnace and a grindstone. And the bee. I really can't take the bee with us. Okay. All right, I mean, this is pretty awesome. All the goodies around here. Oh, there's a, oh, that's a, a bucket of something. There's a bow. All right, what does this say? I was doing some experimenting on the wool frog, which then learned me to discover I could dye that frog type. When I tried bringing a dripstone frog with a purple wool frog, and behold, a little amethyst tadpole was born. Also came across a rare target frog. It looked like a target block, so I decided to give it a shot with my bow. Boom went the frog. There was confetti everywhere. But I was pleasantly surprised by what happened. Okay. All right. Then we have a bow here that we're going to be able to get. Let me get a little bit. Okay, a bow. It has infinity, so we just need one arrow, which we don't currently have. But we'll, we'll try to find it. There should be an arrow laying around here, don't you think? That's something. We could, uh, Can we dip that out? Is that like a, a bowl of uh, like some kind of potion? What is that? Oh, is it just water? I don't think that was just water. I think that was a bucket of potions that we just wasted. Amazing job. I'm the best at this game. Okay, I mean, we found some cool stuff up here. I want to uh, get out of here. Let's bring this with us, and we'll bring this. And we have clay, we have the melon frog, we have a jungle frog, and we have tadpole. Okay, oh, there's an arrow. Okay, so there's an arrow that we can use for our shooting purposes. Okay, awesome. How do I make frog leg stew? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, frog. Like stew. That's a potato and a carrot and a frog leg. Okay. I mean, we are, we're not where we need to be yet. I mean, that's some free food there, I guess. But we're doing okay eating just frog legs for now. I don't think I need melon seeds. Uh, I don't know if I even need any of that stuff. I mean, maybe eventually we will. But now we could get over here. We could kind of go back and forth. Okay. Okay. I want another one of these if I can get it so I can make more. Okay, got it. Okay, so now I think I'm... Okay, so we've discovered what's going on over here. I want to head back across the way, and we're going to get these frogs going. i got to remember how to get over to uh, our, like, main island place. Is this all the things? There's this... Oh, there's that place way up there. Okay, we're going to have to go up there at some point. There's also lots of stuff in this tree. I don't know if we need to, like, run around in the top of this tree either, but that is a huge tree right there. Tons of resources if we need to take those out. We could definitely do that. Okay, let's head back over here. Let's, let's, uh, I don't know what we should do, to be honest with you. I think we should try to figure out how we're going to separate these frogs. Mm. Or maybe we should just go check out another island. Maybe we should go to the ice island and get some snow frogs and stuff like that. Uh, we'll leave those over there. We can leave all that stuff. Frog guide. Okay. Okay, so let's head back over this way. We'll put our new frogs in the pen. You know what we also need? Uh, we also need some slime. Let's bring the slime pump with us. That way we can work on that while we're waiting for stuff to happen. Uh, let's see. We'll put that in there. Nope, we don't want that. We want that. Oh! Oh, maybe we could buy something. Yeah? I mean, maybe we could. Let's go check and see if we have enough money. We're not we're not super wealthy, but maybe some more of our frogs have grown up and we've got some more species, and then maybe we can buy something from the frog guy. Alright, let's go up here and see. Alright, before we do that, Let's go put our different frogs. 
Melon frog. Bamboo frog. Okay, those guys are swimming all around. They haven't grown up yet. That's okay. And then we have the jungle frog. Okay, perfect. I don't know if we should let any more of these guys out or not. Let's just leave those guys hopping around right there. They're loving it. Okay, so now we'll put this out here. This. We'll put this down like right here. This thing we can pump slime out of to do some breeding work. Oh, stuff, stuff just grew up. Let me go see what it was. Cobblestone frog collected. Okay, that's huge. Cobblestone frog. I love that. I feel like our frog breeding is very disjointed though, and stuff's just happening like all over the place. How am I gonna get iron? There's more stuff to grow up in there. Okay, we'll just leave that go for now. Okay, so now, let me see. I think the rest of my coins are upstairs. Let's go up here really quick, and we're gonna go check and see what we can find at the frog store. We have 10 coins, okay? I have 10 coins, frog guy. Hello, adventurer. I can get a chicken, okay? Or a cow. Oh. I think I should wait a little bit longer until I could get two of them. Right, having one cow is not that big of a deal, but if I could get two cows, then I think maybe that's better. That's a better idea. Okay. All right, so here's what I think I would want to do. I need to figure out a solution. Like, I don't I just don't know. Let's let's see if we can't design really quickly a structure. We'll do it up here where we can have like a little frog breeding facility if that makes sense okay so what we're gonna have to do it i mean yeah i mean i guess we could build like a temporary one down below okay this is what my thought was okay so we have a solid block there and then we're gonna go like so right and have four blocks like this and this is going to be a two deep section of water right so then the frogs can go in the water they can breed and their little tadpole things can swim around in there okay then up here, like so, we now have this like three by three area. And what I was thinking is then we would, no, not like that. But I want to make this whole thing out of glass. Put a temporary block here and then we'll go up. Okay. And we'll go around like so. Okay. And then we'll have like a two high section here. Right. And then we'll just cap it off like this. Okay. So there we go. So now if I take this out of the way, we could probably also get rid of this these blocks on the corners just to save us a little bit. I'm trying to get an idea of how much sand we actually need to build one of these. Okay. And let's tear this down like so. Okay. Let's run around. Let's grab up all of our extra cobblestone. Okay. Now... We'll put all that cobblestone that we have in there. Okay, so now we have no cobblestone in our inventory. Let's figure out exactly how much cobblestone we're going to need, or how much glass we're going to need to actually build one of these little, like, breathing chambers. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so. And we'll just, uh, well, we'll subtract two because we're going to have a door. We'll have a door to walk in and out of this place. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Is it like half a stack or something? I don't know. I can't believe we got all those new frogs. I got to I got to remember how to We have to get the book out and teleport ourselves over to the main the trophy island, that way we can check out and see exactly how many. I mean, is that, is that that many? How are we going to get that much glass? We're going to need so many frogs just pumping out 
pumping out sand. I mean, we could destroy this whole island, but this is kind of where we live now. All right, that's 47 cobblestone to make that one little thing. That seems like a lot of cobblestone. I mean, more importantly, it's almost a stack of glass to make one of those little breeding chambers. That, I don't know if that's, if that's what we want to do. I mean, we could make, we could have one and have, I mean, like, what would we want to, I mean, well, I guess maybe we could build one. Let's, um, let's make sure we have all the sand that we've, we've collected. There's a little bit of sand there. Let's go ahead and build one of these little things. And then we can move, I think we can move the, uh, the frogs like in and out as we need to. All right, let's get this and we'll get two buckets. Let me add, throw some stuff away. We'll put that, 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 that. All right, that's about all we can put away. All right, and we'll get this and this, and we can go down here and see how much. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Oh, frog combination volume one unlocked. What did we just get? Sponge frog. We got the sponge frog. Man, there's all kinds of stuff happening down here. Okay, we saw baby tat, baby tadpoles. Yeah, still baby baby tadpoles. Okay. All right. I mean, stuff's happening. I don't know what we can do breeding wise though. Let's see. This guy. And, um, that guy? That guy? Okay. Yeah, this is a little out of control. And that guy? Let's just breed all those combinations together, and maybe we'll get something. Who knows? Okay? Alright, so we got a new different a new frog type. Okay, let's see how much glass I have in here. None. Alright, let's add that. So we only have... However much glass we had, not very much. We could put that in there and cook all of that, though. Okay. I don't know what's happening with these crazy frogs. They're just jumping around in there. Yeah, it's kind of chaotic, don't you think? I think we should get enough glass to build one of these little, like, temporary little structures. Maybe we could just build it, like, here, right? I mean, that might work. We just build it, like, hanging over the edge. And this is where we'll bring our frog types when we want to breed them. I mean, I guess we can kind of pick them up with these little glass things. But even those things are kind of hardcore. All right, we did get a bunch of new coins, though, which is pretty awesome. It's easy to get coins. All right, I also wanted to look and see what we had unlocked in our frog guide. Frog breeding. Okay, go back. Go back. Breed combos. Combos one. Okay. Oh, 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 Clay frog plus mud frog equals gravel. Clay frog plus frog equals sand. Mud plus frog equals dirt. Oh, okay. Mud and gravel equals cobblestone. Dirt and gravel equals coarse dirt. Oh, my goodness. Dirt frog plus frog is grass. Grass plus mud equals mangrove. Spruce, moss. Is there iron? Sand frog plus creeper frog equals TNT. Red sand frog plus dirt frog equals granite. Okay, hay. Hay. Dirt frog plus mud brick frog. Okay, so we have to get all of these different types. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. We don't know how to get iron, though. That's okay. Maybe if we unlock, like, we do a bunch of these and do all of these combinations that we possibly can. Did you already have these frogs? Where... Were there some you didn't know? Yeah, there's a lot of these I don't know. I mean, we have that one. We have that one. We have we haven't done that breeding combination. Like we haven't had like a regular frog. We have some regular frogs we could bring over here. Okay. I mean, this is pretty sweet. All right. So the last thing I want to do in this episode is I think I want to go to the Snow Island and just see what we've got going on over there. How far away is it? Not too far. Let's grab ourselves some a bunch of cobblestone. I was going to breed that, uh, make that breeding cell. Hmm. The problem is it's really hard to put frogs in there. I got to get, maybe I need to wait until I get iron. Hmm. Should I go to the snow island or should we do that next time and I should build this little breeding cell? I think I should probably breed, the, make the breeding cell. All right, let's go down. Do I have, a, do I have any sticks? Do I have any wood? No. All right. Let's grab some wood. 
there. Get those. That's plenty. And we'll go here. And what was I just going to make? I was just going to make... Oh, a shovel. All right, we're going to go like this. We're going to get this. We're going to go like this and make a shovel. And we're going to bring that shovel back upstairs, and we're going to get a bunch of sand. All right, let's get a bunch of sand really quick. Actually, let me tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to go off and do it. I'm going to sleep through the night. I'm going to get a bunch of sand. Like, there's a bunch just laying around up here. We'll get a bunch of sand from all this stuff up here, as much as we possibly can, without disrupting the river. And then I'll smelt it all, get a bunch of glass, and let's build that first breeding cell design that I was talking about. And then once we get that done, we'll actually try to start working on the next combo. We'll verify that it works by using our frog guide to make one of the combos that we don't have. Okay, deal? I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I think I've got enough glass to get started. I'm smelting up a bunch more over there. Whatever I don't use for this project, I'll be able to make uh, the catching, the frog capsules, which is going to be pretty awesome for sure. All right, let's put this there. We'll use that as a temporary block. All right, so let's go over here, and I think we're just going to start literally right here. We're going to have to go down. We're going to go down two, so right there, okay? So we're going to go uh, here. Yeah, okay. All right, so this has to be glass. Okay, glass right there. Uh, glass here, 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 and here. That's maybe a little bit extra, more glass than I needed, but that's okay. One, two, this has to be too deep. All right, so we have that. Now we're up here. We can go like that, and like this, and like this. Okay, so now we have our little area here. We can start there, go all the way around. The outside around the outside all right there okay and we can go one two like so so this is where the door is going to be okay so then this is going to be too high I use more blocks than i needed to there but that's okay all right let's go get some more we're almost done i'm gonna put this in here we just need to have a roof on it so the frogs can't jump out Okay, then we're going to put one here and here and here. This is where the door is going to be. This is the roof. Okay, so let's go one, two, yep, yeah. one, two, and then one, two, three, like that. All right, so now we have this little, our little frog pod. That's what we'll call it, the frog pod. Then we could go like so, put a door like that. Okay, so then all we need to do is take this little center section and put water in there, and then water in here. Oops. Okay, I gotta get more water. By the way, I got another frog. I think just one of the tadpoles must have like bamboo. I think the bamboo frog, I think that's him right there. He just grew up. Okay, let's grab a little bit more water. What's that? All right, let's go back over here. Okay, so that's too deep, right? So that's the idea. All right, now we got to collect two frogs. Let's look at our guide really quick and see if we have a combination that we can't. Okay, bring combinations one. Okay, clay and mud, gravel. We have gravel, clay plus frog sand. We have sand. Mud plus frog is dirt. Mud plus gravel is cobblestone. Okay, um... All right, so let's go get... Let's. I think we have a regular frog. Let's go check that out. We'll sleep through the night as well. We have to fight maybe some bad guys up here if they any spawn. It's nighttime. All right, we got to find just a regular frog. And then we're going to put a regular frog, and we're going to try this new breeding system out. It's going to be amazing. Okay, do we have a frog? Just a frog? No, put that in there. We have 16 of those. We can get uh, a couple uh, things when our thing comes back. Okay, let's run back over across the way. I like our little breeding setup there. It's going to work pretty good. Oh, there's our piece of dirt. Score. Okay, so if we get just... We just need like a regular... It's like a frog. Just a frog? Yeah, frog. Okay, perfect. 
All right, now we don't need that. Okay, so I don't remember now. We're gonna do frog. We're gonna try to get dirt frog, I think. That's the goal. Hey, the wandering trader's up there. Oh, he's gone forever. Okay, amazing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that guy. See you later. I do need to put some stairs in here. We'll do that eventually. Okay. So, so in our book again, it says pretty combinations. Combinations one. All right. So, mud plus frog equals uh, dirt. Okay. So let's go in here. Let's get this. Where's the mud frog? That's not the one I want. This is what I want. Oh. Frog. Okay, this is a little bit out of control around here. Okay, that should be mud frog. Yeah, I have already like four of them in my inventory. That's fine though. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So we got to pump this five times. Okay, we have that. Perfect. All right, so now we go in this little room. Let's go in here together and we'll put down a mud frog. Okay, he's loving it. And just a frog. He's loving it. Okay, we just collected the frog. Then we can breed these two together. Okay. All right, now he's going to go in the water and lay his little babies. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. So then these should hatch into dirt frog babies. Okay. All right. Let's eat something. All right. So we just need those to hatch. Okay. Okay. So this worked pretty good. I feel like it could be a little bit bigger. We might be able to make it a little bit bigger, but this keeps the frogs kind of contained. And if we need to pick them back up, we should be able to do that fairly easily. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Let's leave those guys in there a second. I should be able to make these. Oops. We can make those like that. Okay, we have more of those now. Also, I'm going to need some sort of chest. All right, let's make a chest. We'll make a double. Okay, there we go. We'll put this, like, I don't know, in this little crook. Uh, maybe we should put it over here. Let's put it over here. Okay, and we'll put all these extra frog types that we just have kind of kicking around right there for now. Okay, that'll work. All right, we gotta wait for these little guys to hatch and then to grow up. I mean, that does seem to take a long time. I also don't ever see any resources over here. Like, wouldn't you think there'd be like resources like floating around? I mean, that makes sense to me. Okay, we need those little things to hatch. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me just go off camera here really quick. We're going to let those hatch, and we'll let them grow up, and I'll bring you back, and we'll verify that we get dirt frogs. And if so, then we're going to be good to go, and we're just going to need to repeat that process, which we'll probably do in next episode. We'll just start going through all the combinations that we could possibly go through and see if we can get all of those done and unlock the next frog breeding combo like section. I think that's the key. We have to get all the different types, and then I think it unlocks it for us, maybe. Anyway, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, well that seemed to take a long time, but I now have a whole bunch of dirt frogs. So that breeding process worked like a dream. So now we can pick all these guys up and then figure out what we need. We should probably look and see what the next combo is and if we can use dirt for anything. So for instance, I have, uh, so we did mud and frog. So now I can do dirt and gravel and get coarse dirt. And then dirt and... Oh, yeah, okay. So I could just pick up the mud frog. Like, I could go like this. Okay. Well, mud frog picked up. And now I could just start this process again. I don't have any slime. I could go get some. I can go over here, get a little bit of slime, and then breed frog plus dirt and get whatever that combination is, which is what we're going to do next time. We're going to go to the ice island. We're going to try to get more frog species. We're going to get your feedback on what you think of my little breeding chamber and how we can make it better. We also need to start thinking about maybe digging out a little bit more. It feels like a little bit tight. Digging out a little bit more around here and, and getting more sand, get the sand frogs going. I don't know, tons of stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. 
Don't Be a Fool, and from my Frog Block Let's Play series, where we're getting all kinds of frogs. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.